right guys let's talk about the energy density or the strain energy per unit volume it is the same as the elastic potential energy per unit volume of a stretched material the energy stored per unit volume of a stretched wire is given as e which is the energy density then work done over volume work done is measured in joules and then this is meter cube so the unit is joules per meter cube now for us to derive some other expressions some other relationship between the energy density and the stress strain all right recall that work done is given as half f e or half f x where e is the elongation if we divide through by volume volume is given as area times the length if we divide through by the volume which is area times length we will have something of this nature half f all over l multiplied by extension over l this should be familiar to you this should be familiar to you it implies that work done over volume which is the same thing as the energy density is equal to the half of the stress multiplied by the strain since strain is equal to extension over length and stress is force over area so this is the formula to find you can use the formula to find the energy density of a stretched wire or strain strain is the same as stress all over Young's modulus the reason is because the Young modulus is stress all over strain so in this case I already made strain the subject of the formula so if I remove strain in this formula I will have something of this nature energy density E is the half of the stress multiplied by the stress all over Young modulus in other words we are going to have the energy density will be half of the square of the stress all dots multiplied by 1 over Young modulus it implies that the energy density is proportional to the square of the stress so the relationship between the energy density and the stress is that the energy density is proportional to the square of stress so we have something of this nature now let's find the relationship between the energy density and the strain as well if you substitute stress in this case stress in this case is also the same thing as the strain multiplied by the young modulus so instead of having stress I will have something of this nature elastic moduli or the um, I mean energy density my bad so instead of stress I will have strain the strain will multiply themselves to give me strain squared multiplied by the young modulus so the energy density is proportional to the square of the strain all right that's the relationship between the energy density and the strain energy density and the stress and that's the formula for energy density and this formula as well so 